Hey Note Pirators, in this one we're going to be covering support departments. And simply put, support departments or service departments are an essential part to any company in that they exist to serve revenue producing departments and they only accumulate costs. So they're completely cost based and they do not generate revenues. Another way to kind of think about support departments is that they're kind of like pillars to a home in that they usually go by unnoticed, kind of like the pillars in the middle of this room. And even though they go by unnoticed, they're completely the foundation for the home and that without the pillars, the house will probably collapse. Same thing goes for support departments. They're the foundation for any company in that the revenue producing departments rely on the support departments to function. And if you ask yourself certain questions like, would we really be able to sell as many units without a support department like advertising? The answer would probably be no. Or if you would ask, would we really be able to focus our attention on our product or service if we were getting litigated or sued without having a legal department? Then probably not. We wouldn't be able to focus our attention. So we need these support departments because they're the backbone of our company. And I'll show you an example of one, but actually before that I wanted to show a list of some other support departments. So we went over advertising and legal. Uh, there's also support departments like security, human resource, accounting is also a support department, but not, not public accounting firms because of course they generate revenues. I'm talking about uh, company accounting departments that are internally based, and there's many other support departments as well. So I wanted to go on and transition into an example using Apple. And we all know Apple has some impeccable support departments in that they have a great customer service department. They've actually won many awards as being the top in customer service. And whenever I go to get an Apple product, I've usually found their policy for exchanges or returns or support to be exceptional and that's what makes a company really grow because nobody's going to do repeat business with a company that is just okay at customer service repeat business is everything which is why these support departments are the backbone like i said just remember that the backbone and what i actually found interesting is when i was looking up the customer service department of apple and uh, the policies or the train that uh, the geniuses have to go through. What was interesting is that there's a bunch of small little details that they have to remember in order to work at Apple. For instance, Apple employees are banned from saying unfortunately when delivering bad news to a customer. Instead, they have to replace it with a more positive, as it turns out, blah, blah, blah. Another one is also problems aren't problems, they're issues. So if you ever go to like Apple or the Apple store and you spill your coffee all over your, your MacBook, they can't say, unfortunately, spilling coffee on your MacBook might be a problem. They're gonna have to say, as it turns out, spilling coffee on your MacBook may be an issue. And that's how Apple remains the top in customer service, among many other things. So, uh, support departments, like I said, they are the backbone. And furthermore, we're going to learn how to actually take the cost because I said they are, the support departments are all cost based. So we're going to take a support department like, well, let's just use customer service right now, customer service. And we're going to take the cost of that and we're going to allocate it to the revenue producing department since they use the support departments. So we'll allocate it some to revenue producing department one, revenue producing department two, three, and so on. And there's many different methods we can use. Well, not many, but we're going to look at the direct method, the step down method, and also the reciprocal method, which are all methods for how to allocate costs to the different revenue producing units. And that way we'll have a detailed cost record of how much the revenue departments are using that of the, the support departments.
So we'll be talking about the direct method in the next one. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions regarding accounting or any of the material within our videos, you can tweet us at NotePirate. You can like us on Facebook to receive updates or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped. And like always, thanks for watching us on YouTube.